Okay, shoe phone. Data. Okay, we're in data mode. Please connect this device. See, this is where, this is the app, right? And this is why I thought that you need to, you obviously needed to pair it with the Bluetooth and everything. I won't go into the Bluetooth because it shows other things around here. Yeah, and it just, it does not connect. It will not pair through the Android, you know, the, the regular Bluetooth thing. Setting. Please connect this device. That's, yeah, okay. Device. Please connect this device. Okay, I might have to go read the file that they sent me. Plus. Oh, scan device. Oh, there we go. There it is. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I just assumed. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> okay, so that's minus 60. I assume that's like dB level, is it? If we move them further apart. Further apart. Under here. Yeah, minus 78. Under the bench. Put it back. Yeah, minus 55. So that's signal level. Okay, so search in. So... Enter the password, default password. Okay, confirm. Please enter the full number. <laughs> I don't know whether, oh, let me go read the document. Well, it doesn't actually say anything. Default password, zero, zero it's got old password. I, I, I guess, okay, zero, 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 zero. Confirm, yay, all right. That was just a bit oddly worded. It was like you're setting up a new password or something. It's like by having old password there. Okay, we've got a tick. Scan device. See, it should just automatically get... BM connected. Okay, please, please connect this device. I'm, I have connected. It is connected. Ah, here we go. Okay, channel. Oh, okay. You can set offsets, high critical, high warning. Okay, so it, it beeps at you. So you can set up thresholds. That's kind of cool, I guess. Channel channel one, can you have multiple multimeters maybe? Okay, so high, low limit. Okay, we want that, we can set that off. Okay, that's kind of cool, I guess. Let's go over to the reading display. Okay, um, it's a bit small. I wanted something a bit better than that. But, there you go, it works. Oh, that's pretty quick updating. So, that's, that's pretty fast. Jeez, is that almost as fast as the screen? That's pretty good. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. I just don't like the, you know, like, give it to me bigger. Give it to me bigger. Why not? Why does it like have to be? I, I guess because they want the whole idea is that you can have multiple multimeters. I th I think that's the idea of this layout here, is they can do multiple multimeters and you can have multiple devices connected up here. I've only got one, but I I presume that's the that's what they were going with there, um, which is fine. But still, you could have had a bigger font there. Um, anyway, that's that's pretty great. Can we uh, just get a beep at us? Okay, it will not. So we'll put put this away. Nope, the shoe phone is not going to beep at us. That's disappointing. I want my shoe phone to beep. Although you could argue that you won't be using your shoe phone for that. But okay, fair enough. Is that all it does? Dashboard. Nothing to see here. Select device. Channel one. Module. Select up to ten channels. Mm. It's a bit odd. It's a bit oddball. But it does work. And technically, you don't even have to connect it in your Android device. Bluetooth, you think. You, you, you just connect it in here. Like, I, I didn't try that because I thought, well, of course, you need to connect it via the Android Bluetooth thing. But apparently not. Anyway, um... That update rate's pretty groovy. Is it my imagination? I can't keep my eyes on both. Is it one reading behind or something? Or two, several readings behind? I can hold. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's like one or two readings behind or something like that. But that's fine. Really nice fast updating. I don't know. It's just pretty boring small display. I guess. I would have preferred bigger. 
there's no, oh yeah, yeah, the hold, the hold indicators there. Okay, what about uh, delta? Yeah, delta's there. Delta and hold, yep, so that works. Okay, and what about uh, min max average? Min max average, and boom, max, yep. See, that's, that's, that's too small. Make that bigger, I can barely read that. Take the glut, yeah, that's, that's too small. Make it bigger, please. It's pretty good, it works. And we've got record mode. Okay, single step record. Okay, so we select our device and we start, I guess, single step record. It's just single step record. Okay, start. Yeah, uh, yeah, I expected like a graph or something. What is it recording? Save. App release. Dirt files in download. Okay, I'll have to have a look what that is. Give me a give me a graph. It's gonna be pretty useless if it doesn't have a graph. What is battery? Battery tester. Next. Selected device does not support this feature. Okay, so it looks like they're going for an all-in-one app that connects multiple products that they're planning. In info doesn't work. Yeah, alright. Well that's that's disappointing. I expected that single step record like you can't give me a like a chart recorder like because you know you don't want like super fast you know it's only like four or five times a second updating it's not you know super fast sampling but you know that'd be perfect for like a chart recorder and then put it in does it change orientation no it doesn't doesn't change orientation see so you can't go like a big display I'd like it to change orientation and then you get a giant multimeter display right Look, I, I want it to rotate. Can we have the app to rotate, please? And have a giant display that I can set. Like, it's smaller. Why do I... Look at the size of this. Compared to the size of this. And we've got this giant screen here. Give me the ability to have a giant, an absolutely giant... No, no, yeah, I can't click on that. I can do something where maybe you can change order of them, a drag order or something like that. Yeah, okay, so you can do, yeah, I'm not going to test that, I'm not that interested, but I'm, I'm bummed that it doesn't have, it really needs a big display. Um, the update rate's fantastic. I love the fact that you don't have to dick around with your Android connection, you can just connect it in here. Wow, <laughs> that, that fooled me. Yeah, I'm really liking that. Uh, it'd be nice to have like a label on, oh! Oh, no, right, okay. <laughs> It'd be nice to have like a layer, because if you've got multiple devices, is it just going to BM78XBT? It'd be nice to be able to add a user note so that you could have like number, so you could have like a, a Dymo label on here, like number one, unit one, or whatever, and then you could label it on here. You could have like a user label or note or something like that. That'd be groovy. Um, and no, I want a bloody chart recorder. Select device. And, you know, we've got this module thing, nothing here. Oh. Module, select, yeah. Then what? Real, real time logger. No, oh, start. Hey, we got it. We got it. <laughs> My God, that was convoluted. Um, <laughs> I, I'm liking the display, okay. It's kind of like upside down. Oh, because it's negative. Ha! <laughs> Silly me. Let's go positive. There we go. Oh, I'm liking that. Okay. That's a really nice implementation. I'm liking that. Okay. I was criticizing this for not having a graph mode, but that's real like a chart recorder mode, but that's really good. But once again, I want to see that flip. Because in a chart recorder mode, you want maximum horizontal resolution, like this. So, yeah. Yeah, I definitely, like, that's a great display. Hats off to whoever's done that. I really like the look of that. And I like how they've got the, the actual nu numerical reading up there duplicating that. Fantastic. Okay. Great. So, how, how did we get into that again? <laughs> Exit the real-time logger. Yes, save data. Oh, there we go. So, we can save that as um, a CSV. Great. Great. I will put up, I'll edit in a screenshot of what I get out of that uh, CSV. 
there. Because that was not obvious, right? So from the device, like, like you shouldn't have to go to the dashboard. Why, you know, why did record? Why is it not in the record feature? What's single step record, right? So, uh, like, no, it should have been, like, why is it hidden under dashboard and then module? And no, I, ne I want, like, chart record or something like that. It needs to be labeled, something like that. It's just not clear enough. So if I don't, se what happens if I don't select that? So imagine having multiple multimeters in chart mode like that. That'd be really good. This app has a lot of potential. I really like it. So if we choose that, nothing selected. Okay, so you've got to select the device. You've got to go up there. Why that's not on by default? That should be on by default because there's only one available. Like, you shouldn't have to dick around like this. So, um, yeah, okay. And, and then you hit module, and then you go into there. That doesn't make sense. It, it's why module? I don't get... I don't get the terminology in there. And then, yeah, and only once we got to this point does it tell us that it does real-time login. So, yeah, that's, um, <laughs> it's, it's in there. It's great. But it's, it's buried away. Please, am I being too harsh or is that too convoluted? That is totally not obvious to me. That's not how I would have designed that at all. So yeah, so yeah, imagine if we had multiple multimeters and then I presume they'd be different colors, maybe? If they're not different colors, that's bad. I want different colors. That'd be groovy. I don't know how then they'd combine the colors like that, but I really love the shading. The color shading under there is terrific. I'm really liking that. The response time is great. Everything's winner, winner, chicken dinner. Apart from the aforementioned issues but like this is not actually re released yet i'll send this video to brian and they can have a look at it but yeah leave it in the comments down below please um what you think am i am i on am i um on track with my comments about this software or do you think that no no, no dave you dumbass you just missed that it's obvious <laughs> so yeah i'm anyway i i'm i'm really liking that but yeah please flip it Please flip it. Give me the, or at least get, it doesn't have to auto detect. Just give me a button going landscape mode, please. So anyway, that's really great. I wonder how many like samples, how long it can go. Oh, data. Look at this. Current value, maximum value, average, high, low limit. So you can have those limits. So you can have those high, low limit testing. That's really good. That's really good for, you know, when you're setting up production testing or something like that or some other um, automated testing, um, having high low limits is, you know, and I presume it'd beep at you if it goes over limit. I'm not going to test that right now, sorry. Um, but yeah, if it doesn't, it needs to beep loudly. It needs to play a tune. Boom. Look at that. We have overloaded. Oh, I, I like how it put in that marker there. It looks like that's an overload marker, right? Let's try that again. That's a really nice touch. No, it didn't, didn't do it again. So it only does it once. Like, why is it continuing to scale if it knows that we're on this range? It should know what the maximum is and it shouldn't extend beyond that because it can't read beyond that. So, you know, a bit more intelligence there in that regard would be nice, I guess. Oh, and we've got a blue. We've got a blue. Oh, oh that's min. That's okay. That's min max. Okay. Right. I just noticed that. Okay, <clears throat> even though we don't have min-max mode on here, the app is doing the min-max. I like that. Can we clear the min-max? Can't clear it. We need the ability to clear the min-max, please. That'd be nice. Otherwise, yeah, there's no point having that min-max feature if you can't clear it. So I would want a little clear button under there or just click and you'll just hit it, touch it, and pop up with like a clear option. Oh, like a button maybe so yeah that'd be cool we've got we've, we've got time on the x-axis 11 29 a.m it is 11 29 a.m um it's wrapping the it's wrapping the two there i don't please fix that it's wrapping the two that's that's pretty dumb um and we can't oh yeah oh yeah 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 we can drag yep 
Yep, yep, we can drag back. Look at that. That's great. Can we zoom in? Can we pinch and zoom? No. No, it looks like we can't can't pinch and zoom. But yeah, we can do that. That's that's pretty groovy. I so I'm yeah, I'm I'm liking the app. Crud on my fingers. <laughs> I can't see that here. I can only see it on the on the camera. <clears throat> but anyway, there you go. That has potential. <clears throat> Exit the logger. And we can pause it, which is groovy, and then just keep replaying. Oh, and it puts dead. It puts dead in there. Nice. I'll see if that pops up in the how how it handled. Oh, you have to pause it and then done. And then save it. Cool. Okay. Well that's that's got potential. <laughs> it's just um yeah, a little bit convoluted. But yeah, a few little minor tweaks to that. That could be really, really good. So, thoughts and comments down below. Catch you next time.